That's right. We're here at TechCrunch's Robotic Sessions Conference at UC Berkeley. This robot next to me is one of the cool features here. And here's how it works. They throw in an apple or some other object like that into the bin. You can see the machine uses vacuum technology to grasp it. It's all part of UC Berkeley's Autolab Research Center on robotics, but in just a little more than an hour, we're going to hear from one of the most highly anticipated speakers here at the conference, the CEO of Boston Dynamics, Mark Raybert. The SoftBank-owned company just released some really interesting video of its Atlas robot taking a jaunt around the neighborhood and also jumping over a log. It also released video of its four-legged bot, the Spot Mini, running autonomously around offices, dodging obstacles and going up and down stairs. So you may remember that Jeff Bezos is a big fan. The Amazon CEO tweeted a picture captioned, taking my new dog for a walk a couple of months ago. And while the Spot Mini and the Atlas robots might seem like they'd be right at home inside an Amazon fulfillment center, we also caught up with a startup that's focusing on the fulfillment business. It's called Fetch Robotics. It's based in Silicon Valley. DHL is one of its clients. And what they do is they make robots that can be autonomous, can get up and running in about eight hours, which is very little time in that world. It can navigate around obstacles and also work alongside humans and lift very heavy cartons. Let's listen to its CEO. We can take something from an assembly area in a manufacturing uh, plant and put it onto a conveyor. Uh, we have a, a, a part of the robot that can connect to a cart and move a cart around. So when you put a whole bunch of packages onto a cart, the robot can come pick up that cart. All of this, of course, inevitably brings up the whole issue of job displacement. A recent McKinsey study found that in 60% of occupations, about a third of work activities can be automated. Guys, back to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.